All right, so here we are back again with uh, a video about the recent Star Wars teaser, because I know we just released the podcast episode today, and we talked about a few leaks, but I thought, yeah, that doesn't really do it justice. I, I, I mean, for the most for the most part, I don't think we uh, covered anything that actually came to be in this initial look. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we both just rewatched the teaser for, like, it was my fourth time watching it, but uh, just to try to pull from every single detail we could. Um, already we're seeing that Rey is getting closer to the Force. She's becoming more like, you know, the traditional hero of this journey, right. you know? Um, it, it, like her arc, you can tell, is wrapping up nicely. Uh, so the name of the movie is The Rise of the, uh, the Rise of Skywalker, right? Yes, so, um, I like that title. <laughs> yeah, so she's definitely a Skywalker, huh? I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking she is because, I mean, who else is going to rise? Could it be Kylo Ren, maybe? But his last name ain't Skywalker. It's Solo. But I guess, you know, he is one technically. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. This just supports the theory that they are related. Like, you know, we, we made the whole joke about how, um, like, it might be a Luke Leia situation, like the <laughs> yeah. romantic tension between them, but they might actually be related. So, yeah. Um, starting to see that a little bit. Starting to think that might be the case. Yeah, and then and we see um I don't know she's in a desert and it it looks like Kylo Ren's Tie Fighter chasing her coming I, I at mean, her. We, so well, I we mean, don't know we don't for see, sure though. Yeah, we don't see his face or anything. We see his hands, which it, it, it's definitely like an Empire craft. It's definitely meant to sort of feel like a Kylo Ray yeah. confrontation. Like if you look but, at the the front window there, it definitely looks different than it did in the Last Jedi. So who knows? Yeah. I looked at a Lego set. I saw a Lego set Kylo Ren, and it kind of looked like it. So I don't know. Maybe he changed it, did a refit, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, uh, very that, notable that... is that. Oh, yeah, go, go yeah. ahead. I, I'm just thinking, like, what planet are they on? Is it something we've seen before, or could this be like Jakku? Like, could she be back home for some reason? I don't know. Well, considering we see this, I what looks like a piece of Death Star wreckage uh in the ocean here it could either be uh one of the moons of yavin or the moons of endor i'm thinking although yeah. that doesn't necessarily have to be the same as the desert or whatever yeah. this is that we i see. don't know i'm guessing it's probably got nothing to do with endor I, I i mean it would be nice to tie it into return of the jedi like that but i i, I don't see that being the case yeah uh notably we hear luke's voice doing a little narration and but it doesn't sound very ghostly does it i i don't know i guess it uh I, I don't know. It, it, it's, I think, really vague right now. I know there have been some speculation that he might uh, not have actually died in The Last Jedi, that he might have just been pulling some Force trick or something. Um, mm. I, who knows? Uh, th that's what I'm, like, where I'm at right now. Um, I, I don't know. It, it's going to be, like, I, I don't think we're going to be able to tell whether or not he's actually a Force ghost or whether or not he's actually dead until we see him in some physical form in this trailer. So... Right. Yeah. And, and he didn't appear in it. It was just no, a voice. just by voice. Um, yeah. um, other details, we see, obviously, Kylo Ren mending his helmet. Mm -hmm. And we already knew that, I guess, was going to happen. Uh, Finn is back. He's holding Ray's staff. And you see him in, uh, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Poe. Oscar Isaac. Poe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess they have, a, they have some kind of adventure. You see them f uh, flying on one of those things that looks like it was from uh, Jabba the Hutt's palace scene in uh, Return of the Jedi. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and there's 3PO, so he's back. Yeah, um, and then we see what looks to be the shattered remains of the Death Star, or at least a decent piece of the Death Star. Yeah. Um, and you, you can sort of tell here it is slightly rounded. Um, you know what? See... That's got to be the Death Star, too, because at the end of the trailer, you know who we hear. <laughs> Give him yeah. your hatred. So you think it is Palpatine, or do you think it's just someone doing a Palpatine impression? I think once more the Sith will try to rule the galaxy. Okay. Yeah, that, I think it could be him. It's, I mean, it, to me, it sounds like him. Or, you know, it could just be Mark Hamill uh, doing his uh, Joker voice. Yeah. Well, um, I, I mean, it sounded exactly like Mark Hamill's Joker, which uh, I don't know if... Uh, well, no, like, it, it's it, most it like definitely that's the point Palpatine. That everyone's pointing out at this point, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I everyone in the comments touch. are saying it's Palpatine, so it's not just me. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, again, we do see the remains of the Death Star here. What could possibly have brought them over here? Is it possible that they're trying to understand Kylo by exploring the past, by seeing how the death, the uh, Empire ended before? Maybe, or maybe they're uh, they're drawn to it by the great dark entity, the Shadow, the Emperor. Maybe. Um. What's his name? The uh, uh smoke smog. 
Snoke. Snoke. <laughs> so so forgettable. Maybe he was just an illusion by Palpatine the whole time. Yeah, I don't think Palpatine's that powerful. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He did put a veil over the entire Jedi Order for decades. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think, at least with the prequels, it's implied that he didn't, like, start there. It was, like, sort of a gradual decline. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, um, the other cool thing, we which we didn't mention, Lando's in it, which I think you were probably about to say, right? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, where is he? What, what point in the trailer yeah, he's, is he? Yeah, he's uh, at the 1 minute 23 second mark. 20. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. There like he a is. Couple frames, Billy but, uh, D. Williams. So he looks pretty good. No, he, I mean, he's getting up there, you know, for sure. But, uh, you know, oh, it, yeah. it's a nice uh, nod to the fans of the original series who were wondering where the hell Lando was in the last two uh, sequel movies. <laughs> yeah. He's got so, his um, ship back. It's yeah. not Ray's ship. <laughs> it That's is. Yeah, it's, I guess, Solos Lando's and like then that. Lando's. Mm hmm. And um and then we see the ghost of Carrie Fisher. Mm-hmm. Uh, there she is. And uh yeah, then we see a gold medal that reminds me of the game uh Star Wars Rogue Squadron. <laughs> the medals you get for completing the missions. Yeah. Right. Other than that, then you have the title, uh color is blue. I knew that they were gonna make it blue. Don't ask why, uh, I just knew. Yeah, I mean I, I don't know, it's a nice color scheme, but I, I don't see where you're like I, 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 I don't see where you would get blue as the logical next color after red. Um, oh, because they I, had I, yellow, red, red, and then the next primary color is blue. Oh, okay. Also, Rise of Skywalker, Skywalker's color is blue. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think that uh, that's about it. Comes out December. Uh, I don't know if there are any other details that came out of a Star Wars no. celebration today. But yeah, I mean, I think we have to do for much all this. Hopefully, uh, May 4th brings a little more detail to this whole thing. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, they do something nice for Star Wars Day. But, uh, yeah, aside from that, I think that's all we got to say for this quick take. Yeah. So hopefully if you listen to the podcast or you're going to and were disappointed that we only talked about uh, Reddit leaks, well, here you go. We talked about the trailer. That's our thoughts. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, initially, I basically didn't care what episode nine was going to be because of everything that happened in eight, but I'm kind of over it now. And uh, so far from the teaser, nine looks cool. Yep. But we, I also thought that about eight. So we'll see what happens. Well, it, I mean, it's it is J.J. Abrams at this point. So, uh. Yeah. I don't know, maybe if uh, you weren't a fan of the Ryan Johnson adaptation, uh, this will please you a little more. Yeah, well, I think they, they definitely heard everyone's complaints loud and clear, and I think they worked to yeah. alleviate that a little bit. Notice Rose Tico was nowhere to be found. And thank <laughs> God for that. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's it, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. What you just saw was a clip from our full show, The Utterly Nonsense Podcast, which airs every Friday. So click any of the links on the screen or subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. And let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for listening.